Hello and welcome guys. In this session, we are going to cover up relative coordinate system. So in the previous videos, we had uh, like seen the absolute coordinate system wherein the origin was always fixed. We used to uh, find out the coordinate system or the coordinate position of each point with the help of a fixed origin. But in case of relative coordinate system, as you can already see, origin is considered as the previous point. So let's say I'll be finding out the coordinate of A point. I have to consider this B as the origin. Suppose I want to find out the coordinate points of B, then A will be the origin. Similarly for C and D as well. So the previous point always is considered as the origin in case of relative coordinate system. So like how to start with this coordinate system like for A, what are the coordinate points of A? So we can consider this A point as 0, 0, 0, 0 or we can take any random point like suppose we have taken over here. So I can start by simply with a click on the AutoCAD screen like I'll select a line I can simply click at any point because now when I have to mark this B point for that case this A point will be considered as the origin. So now suppose I want to find out the coordinate of B. If A is the origin and this is the X axis so the point B becomes along X axis it is 5 and along Y axis it will be 0 then for B sorry for C so for C B will be considered as the origin so for C X is 0 and Y will be this distance that is 3 for D point this point C is considered as the origin so if C is the origin then along X axis the X distance will be as in the left side so it will be negative value of X so that is minus 5 and Y will be 0 because this point is lying on the x axis. So for this case suppose A is the origin or like you can say A is the first point. So for the B point the coordinate points will be x distance. This is the x distance. So it will be 50 comma 0 because y is 0 it lies on x axis. Now for C, for C, B will be considered as the origin. So X distance becomes 0, Y will be considered as this distance that is 20. Similarly in case of D as well, so for D, C will be considered as the origin. So for D, the X value will be 50 but since it is left side of the origin so minus 50 a negative value minus 50 and y will be 0 because this uh, like this point lies on the x axis so it becomes 0. Now let us start with the AutoCAD drawing. Suppose I have to draw this rectangle with the help of relative coordinate system. So for that I have to take a line I can start with any position like uh, let us start from here. Now we have to give this B point. So the distance given is 40. So the command will be the command for I will show you command for relative coordinate system. That will be at the rate. So sorry at the rate x comma y value. So that is the command for relative coordinate system. So since this uh, distance is 40 mm, 
So we'll give the command at the rate 40 comma 0 because this distance is 40m then enter. So you have got this line now from here to here this distance is 20 now this B point is considered as the origin if we want to find out this C coordinate. So for that at the rate x value so x value for c is 0 comma y value now y value is 20 like this now we have to find out this d coordinate so by similar process considering c as the origin at the rate x distance so 40 is the x distance but in negative symbol minus 40 comma 0 then enter so now this is the like starting point you can simply click over here or you can give a coordinate as at the rate now the x value will be 0 now this point like this point is the origin so y will be in minus value negative value so the distance becomes 20 this is the distance minus 20 so we have got the line or the desired shape you can say guys now we'll start with this drawing so similarly we have to select a line or you can use the command l enter you have to choose a first point so let us choose this one as the first point you can choose any point guys since uh, for relative coordinate system uh, the origin will be considered as the previous point so we have to find out this b coordinate then so a will be considered a will be considered or this point will be considered as the origin so the distance is 60 so we have to give the command at the rate 60 comma y distance so for b the y distance is 0 since it lies on the x axis so 0 Next, we need the coordinate point of C. So, y axis, the distance is 20. So, now the origin will be considered as B. So, for C point at the rate, x will be considered as 0, y will be 20. For D, we have to move to the left side. Distance is 40. So, x value will be negative minus 40. So let us write the command at the rate minus 40 comma the y distance. So in this case, in this case, if C is the origin, y value is 0, that is because it lies on the same plane. So 0, enter. Now we have to find out the coordinate of E. So D being the origin, at the rate x will be 0, y will be from here to here it's 40. Then we have to move to this point that is f. So for f e will be considered as the origin. So let us write f at the rate x distance. So the x distance is 20, but we have to move to the left side. So minus 20, minus 20, comma 0. Then I can close it like this or considering this point as the origin at the rate x will be 0, comma y. That is from here to here this distance. So this distance is given as 60. So 60 enter I'm so sorry guys it will be negative 60 right I did that mistake so you also have to keep it in mind so this is below the origin that is like below the origin so minus 60 at the rate 0 comma minus 60 enter so 
like to remove from the command or to get release from the command you can simply hit escape or enter like this guys now we'll draw this so again we'll start with a as any point then we have to consider b so for b the distance will be or the command will be at the rate x distance so x distance over here is 60 six zero comma zero because it lies on the x axis enter so we have got this line now we need to find out the c point so for c b will be considered as the origin this point will be considered as the origin so for c x value will be zero because it is lies on lying on the same like y plane so at the rate x0 y the y value will be 10 because from here to here the distance is 10 so let us write 10 over here so we found out this c point now we have to find out this d considering c as the origin so as we can see from here to here we have to shift that is from here to left hand side so the x value will be minus so at the rate x will be minus 40 comma 0 e for e point considering d as the origin at the rate distance x will be 0 comma y will be 30 that is given enter now from e to f at the rate distance will be 20 that is given at the rate 20 comma y value will be 0 then from here to here from f to g so again i have to follow the same process for this from b to c the exact same process will be for f to j g so at the rate now x value will be 0 y will be the y distance that is 10 it is 10 given over here I'm so sorry so at the rate 0 comma 10 now we have to find out this h point so similarly at the rate like considering g g as the origin so we move to the left hand side it will be a minus value so minus 20 comma 0 for i at the rate x will be 0 comma 30 then from i to j at the rate the distance is we have to check the distance 40 so at the rate 40 comma the y axis so y axis will be 0 now from j to k again we have to repeat this process that is from b to c and from f to g so at the rate distance will be for x will be 0 because it lies on the same y axis so 0 comma 10 is the thickness like from here to here or here to here this is similar so that is 10 now for the l point we'll consider this point as the origin so at the rate now from k to l so it's again going at the left hand side so minus 60 comma y axis so y axis it lies this point lies on the x axis so y will be 0 0 enter now we can simply end this over here then escape to fire like remove from the command guys i hope you have got a basic idea about relative coordinate system and you have practiced this exercise so after you are done with this you will find another link in the like course curriculum you will get exercises on coordinate system
guys please do practice that it will be helpful for you hello guys welcome to today's session today we are going to discuss about polar coordinate system so this is the command for the polar coordinate system that is at the rate distance less than symbol and the angle so what is this i'll explain in details so for polar coordinate system we do not have to consider any point as the origin it is very much simple guys we have to start with the first point as any point then for the next point we have to provide the distance and angle like what will be the total angle like this what will be the total angle so for this line from a to b the angle will be like 360 degree total or zero so from a to b that means for the coordinate point b we have to give the like command that will be at the rate the distance is 5 we have to give a less than symbol then the degree so that is 360 degree or 0 degree now for C from B to C so for C at the rate the distance is now 3 from B to C then less than symbol now the angle so guys this angle it became 90 degree so 90 enter now for d point now we have to move from c to d so again at the rate distance is 5 less than symbol now the angle will be considered like this will be the angle considered that is 180 degree so it will be less than symbol 180 degree. Now from D to A. From D to A. The distance will be at the rate. Like the command will be at the rate distance. Less than the symbol. Now the direction or like the angle sorry. Distance less than angle. So the angle is. 270 degree now from here to here 270 so over here we have to write 270 now let us consider this rectangle so this point a is like we can choose any point which is similar to relative coordinate system for b so for point b we have to give the command at the rate then the distance is 50 then less than symbol we have to consider this angle so from here to here it is 360 degree or 0 degree now for C so from B to C at the rate distance will be 20 from here to here less than symbol now this angle I'll show you once again like this angle this is 90 degree so 90 now for d so from c to d at the rate distance will be 50 less than symbol from here to here similar in this case it will be 180 degree then for a from D to A, at the rate, distance is 20, less than symbol, the angle from here to here, that is, same with this case, this is 270 degree. So, this is the concept of polar coordinate system. Guys, now let us start with this drawing. So, we will have to select a line 
like for the first point we can uh, like click at any position then for B point like from A to B we have to move so we have to provide the distance that is 40 mm so the command is at the rate 40 then a less than symbol and we have to consider the angle so from this point to this point again so the angle becomes 0 degree or 360 degree so 0 like less than 0 then from B to C so this time the angle is 90 degree like 90 degree so from this point at the rate the distance is 20 less than symbol 90 from C to D so now the angle is from here to here that is we will consider 180 degree angle so at the rate 40 less than 180 now from D to A so the angle is from here to here up to this first second and third quadrant so as the command goes at the rate distance is 20 less than 270 less than symbol 270 like this so then uh, we'll move to the next drawing we'll try with this so let us try with this we'll select the line then for first point we can click at any position so for b at the rate distance less than 0 less than symbol 0 for C at the rate distance less than angle so angle is 90 in this case then again at the rate for D point now so at the rate 40 less than symbol so this is 180 degree at the rate uh, we'll select the line again at the rate 40 less than 180 now from D to E the angle will be 90 degree this angle so at the rate distance will be 40 less than 90 less than symbol 90 from E to F at the rate distance is 20 given less than 180 from F to A again so the angle will be 270 degree at the rate distance less than angle so you have completed this let us practice this one as well so again we have to take a line option so guys if you had noticed something like suppose from a point we move to the right hand side then the angle will be considered as zero if we move to the upward side the angle will be considered as 90 if we move from like from a point to the left hand side the angle will be considered as 180 again from this point to upwards angle will be considered as 90 from here to here that is again left side angle will be considered as 270 from this point to this point I'm so sorry guys I'm so sorry guys uh, now from this point to this point we can see we have to move from this point to left hand side so we'll consider this angle as 180 degree now from here to the ending point or to the starting point you can say so this angle will be 270 degree so if you see any line coming downward that will be 270 so as i said upwards 90 degree right hand side 0 degree left hand side 180 degree so that is the concept we have to start first point 
at the rate distance less than 0. Then at the rate 10 is the distance less than 90. Since it goes upwards from C to D. So left hand side. At the rate distance is 40 less than 180. From D to E upwards. So angle will be 90. At the rate distance less than 90. E to F is right hand side. At the rate distance it is given 20 less than 0. Now from F to G. At the rate distance less than angle. Now upwards. So angle will be 90 degrees. From G to H is left hand side, the angle will be 180. So at the rate distance less than 180. From H to I, the angle will be 90 degrees since upwards at the rate distance less than 90. Less than 90. I to J right hand side, so at the rate distance less than 40. I'm so sorry. Uh, at the rate distance less than 0 degree since we have to move to the right hand side. At the rate distance less than 90 since upwards. Then for L at the rate distance less than 180 since left hand side. Now we can simply join this or at the rate distance less than 270. I'm so sorry. Uh, this distance is 90. I had given 60. So at the rate distance less than 270. Like this it will end up. So guys, uh, similarly for like as you have practiced in absolute and relative coordinate system, uh, please do practice for polar coordinate system as well. It will help you out when you'll be doing the actual drawing process. Guys, in the next sessions, we'll be starting with the basics of AutoCAD like drawing unit setup, uh, page setup, this type of basic portions. So see you in the next video guys. Thank you very much.